Have you ever wanted to see the Egyptian pyramids? What about traveling to France or Rome? With Google Earth, you can explore the world from the comfort of your own home. The many features it offers allow you to zoom from outer space to street level, see 3D buildings, go back in time with historical images, and even dive into the ocean. You'd like to take a close look at Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, so you'll download the Google Earth plugin and then explore its features. We'd like to look at Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, so let's begin by navigating to Google Maps. We can do that by clicking the Maps hyperlink in the upper left of the window. The map area has a button on it labeled Earth. That seems like it will take us where we need to go, so let's check it out. Google Earth can be downloaded either as a full desktop application or a plugin that works in tandem with Google Maps in your web browser. Since we don't have the plugin yet, there's a button that will allow us to download it and begin using it. The operating system and web browser you use will dictate the steps for downloading and installing a plugin. If you click Next, we'll finish the downloading steps for you. Great! We finished downloading the plugin, and now our Google Earth is showing, which allows users to search the map for any location in the world. In this display of 3D satellite imagery and topography, the closer we get to any location, the more detailed these images will become. So let's look for our spot in Africa. We can search for any location in the world by entering its name, address, or latitude and longitude. We want to take a look at Mount Kilimanjaro, so we'll try finding it by simply typing its name. Our 3D globe spun and zoomed right to Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. We're still a bit too far out to know exactly what we're seeing, so let's zoom in even closer using the navigation controls on the left side of our Google Earth window. By pressing the Zoom In button, the plus sign, or the Zoom Out button, the minus sign, we can make incremental changes to our view. Since we'd like to zoom in quite a bit, we'll use the Zoom slider. Aside from zooming, Google Earth allows you to explore in two main ways, by moving and looking. It's important to know the difference between these two options. Looking is the same as turning your head. You stay at a single viewpoint. Looking is controlled by the Look joystick, the circular button at the top of our navigation controls. To look in a certain direction, you simply click the corresponding arrow on the Look joystick. We'll try looking to the right. This changed our view slightly, angling more to our right. Now let's try moving. Unlike looking, Moving involves actually shifting the location from one place to another. By using the second circular button on our navigation controls, the Move joystick, we can try that now. Let's move toward the volcano. Now we're even closer to Mount Kilimanjaro. Next, let's change our settings so that Google Earth will also show us pictures taken from this location. This is a great way to experience an area and get a feel for the local culture. Here, we should be able to see some images people have taken while on the volcano. We can access additional features with the More button. This gives us several options, including photos, videos, Wikipedia entries, and terrain associated with this location. Because we want to see photos, that's the option we'll select. Our image is now marked with several little blue squares. Each square indicates that there is a photo associated with that spot on the volcano. Let's take a look at one now. This displayed a picture of the image associated with it. From here, we can check out more photos or video, look at the volcano from other vantage points, or fly off to a whole new location. While it's not exactly real travel, Google Earth offers so many amazing features that it starts to feel like it is. With the ability to change vantage points, zoom, and even view associated photo and video, the possibilities are limitless.